Harper Columbus News Update. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your midday Arklamas update. A Morehouse Parish man has been arrested for attempt at second degree murder. 21 year old Robert W. Wilson was arrested for allegedly shooting a victim in the face on March 16th. Wilson was charged and booked into the Morehouse Parish Jail. And Bastrop residents have spoken out after recent floodings caused damage to property. NBC 10's Haley Hines visited the city and has more details. Residents in Bastrop are voicing their concerns on flooding in residential areas. Residents in Bastrop are speaking out after a rainy week caused flooding in parts of their neighborhood. According to the mayor of Bastrop, the city was hit with 2.5 inches of rain in as little as 24 hours. Homeowners who live on McClure Avenue in Bastrop say they experience water running through their front lawns. Resident Kelly Young Miniweather expressed her concerns of the blocked city culverts after she witnessed city workers throwing limbs into the ditch. Yesterday was the first rain since then, and it completely rerouted. It flooded everything over here. We were flooded, and it wasn't even flowing through the ditch like it was supposed to be. It was going through my sister-in-law's yard across the street. She continued by stating that it takes less than an hour for that area to flood and that she has contacted the city on several occasions and given permission for workers to access her property, but nothing has been done. Miniweather's husband, Malcolm, also gave his thoughts on the issue. What I don't understand is why the city, they had plenty of dry days, they had plenty of time to come here and clean the ditches out, but they want to wait until a tragedy happened and then they decide, well, when it dries up, but they have been dry a while back. You have plenty of time to do it. Never done it. We spoke with Bastrop's Mayor Betty Alfred Olive and the city's special project coordinator Jacob Orles, who denied that workers threw limbs into the culvert. Both detail what they feel may cause the flooding and their efforts to resolve the issue. Water has force and it's going to travel. And if you have debris, and that's one reason we ask that our our citizens will help us in keeping our ditches clean because that force of water is going to push that debris downhill and consequently it's going to stop up culverts. The ditch goes through private property. So for us to access private property we have to have permission from the landowner plus it has to be dry enough for the, us to get in there and do the work and to get equipment in and out without causing harm to the equipment or to the property. For your Arklamas News Source, I'm Haley Hines. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. A few clouds will start sneaking in for this afternoon, becoming partly cloudy, but we're not expecting anything as far as any rain chances. There will be a weak disturbance move across East Texas, but that's what's going to be responsible for the clouds that we see today. Could possibly see maybe a stray shower or two right there along the I-49 corridor, but mainly staying down to our southwest. We will be seeing a few clouds overnight, and winds will continue out of the north, and it's still going to be another chilly night, temperatures falling to lower 40s, and we could see some upper 30s in South Arkansas. Now, as we go into tomorrow, the skies will clear, and we will see lots of sunshine, temperatures will gradually warm up upper 60s across much of the region and even as we head towards the Easter weekend these temperatures are just going to keep gradually warming up expecting for pleasant conditions through Saturday and through next Sunday. Betting low about 41 degrees tonight in Monroe and for tomorrow temperatures will be rising to the upper 60s and we'll continue with the sunshine not just for tomorrow but really as we close out the week going into the weekend and notice how these temperatures they also continue to rise as well. It's going to be warm and breezy for Saturday and then for next Sunday still overall not too bad as we warm to the 80s cloud cover will start increasing on Sunday and then through the start of next week we'll see more cloud cover. Our next system will arrive by that point bringing back the chance for more showers and thunderstorms going into Tuesday and we will be cooling down to the lower 60s by Wednesday and we could see overnight lows return back to the mid and possibly lower 40s. Well, that's it for your midday update. Don't forget to grab your Dream Home, your St. Jude Dream Home tickets, as they are still on sale. And don't forget to tune in to our live show tomorrow with Abby Price and Mackenzie Jonikin. Have a great day. Watch NBC 10 News for the Eye in the Sky. Get a better understanding of what's happening with our drone, the Eye in the Sky, only on NBC 10 News.